Today, the algorithm uses hashtags to categorize your content and to learn more about your account such that the next time you create a post, they know exactly what audience to show it to. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joy and on this channel we talk about all things social media marketing content creation tips and so much more in this video i'm going to share with you five tips that will help you to grow your instagram account organically when i say organically it means that you're growing your account without boosting or buying followers or buying likes or anything of the sort organic growth means that you focus on natural ways that you can grow your account without doing any shady stuff so let's get started my first tip for growing your instagram account is going to be determine your target audience knowing your target audience is going to help you answer a lot of questions and know what kind of content you need to be putting out your content is not for everyone you have probably had people say that if you're speaking to everyone you are speaking to no one you need to know your target audience and understand things that they like which content do they want to hear about what kind of videos do they want to see what kind of content do they engage with most do they engage with reels the most do they engage with carousels the most do they engage with photo posts the most do they interact on stories what do they like what are their problems what are their challenges where are they located how old are they understanding all these different things about your target audience will help you to create content that resonates with them once that happens it means that your content is going to be targeted at the right people and then you're going to attract even more followers my second tip is create high quality content now Quality content might look different to different people, but I'm going to encourage you to invest in a good camera. Your content needs to be visually appealing and engaging. No one wants to watch a video that is grainy or the face is blurry or something like that. Everyone wants to watch a video where the message is clear, the person is clear, and everything seems spot on. We all see more reels in our feeds compared to two years ago or three years ago on Instagram. So if you're going to grow organically and if you're going to grow fast right now on Instagram, you need to be creating a lot of video content. For that, you have to invest in a, a really good phone. One of the attributes of high quality content is that it either solves a problem or helps someone achieve a desired goal high quality content is not just about the camera quality but also about the value the third tip i'm going to give you is using hashtags now i know that when i mention hashtags there have been discussions where people have said that instagram hashtags are dead but i would like to believe that that is not true it's only that the way instagram hashtags used to work three years ago is not the same way they work today before people used to use hashtags to get more reach and engagement on their content today the algorithm uses hashtags to categorize your content and to learn more about your account such that the next time you create a post they know exactly what audience to show it to the reason most people's hashtags don't work is because they are using hashtags that are not related or relevant to the kind of post they are creating the best way to find hashtags that work is to go directly within the instagram app then search your keywords for example someone like me who's into social media marketing i can go and search something like social media marketing and then in the search results you're going to see different tabs but go straight to the hashtags tab and then pick out hashtags that do not have a lot of competition use hashtags that have at least 500,000 posts but if you use a hashtag that has over 20 million posts that means that that hashtag has a lot of competition and you're going to struggle to rank for that hashtag so choose hashtags that are not very competitive but are still relevant to your post the fourth tip is have an engagement strategy. Now, engagement is not just replying to comments on your post. Engagement goes more than that. Yes, you need to reply to comments on your posts. However, you need to also engage with other users. You need to find 10 to 20 creators in your niche who are getting high engagement on their posts and then regularly interact with their content. What you're going to do is find out those posts that they did that are training or getting a lot of traction. Then under that post, make sure that you leave a comment, leave something that is valuable, either supplement what the person talked about 
or give an extra tip or an extra source of information that will be helpful and relevant to other people commenting on other people's content and replying to your messages in the dms it's going to help you establish a community and make people feel like you care about them and you're not just sharing content and disappearing the worst thing you can do is share a post and go offline it is important to get fast engagement in the first 30 minutes of sharing your content because this will give a signal to the algorithm that you are active so the higher engagement you get in the first 30 minutes of sharing your content will determine how much or how further your content is going to be suggested to other people the fifth tip that i am going to give you is to collaborate collaborations are made on relationships you need to first build a relationship with this person let them see you regularly interact or leave a comment on their content and then after some time after you feel like there has been enough relationship and enough interactions between the two of you reach out to the person in the dm and make a request for a collaboration sometimes you will have people coming to you for a collaboration and i feel like the best thing to do is to always say yes to collaborations because even if the other person has fewer followers than yours it means that whether they have a thousand followers or if they have ten thousand if you use the collaboration tool the one in instagram where the post appears on both your accounts it means that your content is going to be exposed to this person's audience and, and network and vice versa so i hope you found these tips helpful and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos that i will share see you in the next video